Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about LCX. So let's just dive in and let's talk about a few things. So uh, first and foremost, yes, I am recording this a little bit ahead of time. Um, as you guys are probably all aware of by now with all of my other past videos, but I do want to comment real quick on the price action on LCX. So first off, we had this nice little dip down here into like the low area under like six cents just recently. But also on the seven day span, we did hit this nice little low down here under just, you know, six cents. It wasn't like anything too, too crazy. Uh, the funny thing is, is that like if we go back to the um, the one year chart, we are literally at levels that we've seen back in the summertime when I originally, you know, called out LCX. Like I was talking about LCX during this entire dip during last summer. And it wasn't until like around August uh, when we were really kind of aping into this under four cents before it ran to like almost 50 cents. It almost did a very similar move, uh, mind you, to almost like H bar, if you will. But, uh, you know, we got a way better entry on LCX um, during that time. But it was still something uh, remarkable to, you know, address at that time. Um, we are still very early into LCX right now, like total, you know, addresses sitting at about like 11.6. Uh, just recently, we actually, you know, going back to like July 1st, we had about almost 11,000 then. So this is still, you know, growing slightly day in and day out, but not nearly as much as like other tokens. And with such a small supply compared to what they are trying to do, like this thing is so early under a $100 million market cap, mind you, like a 10 X from here is so easily achieved, like a $480 million market cap. I mean, come on, like, give me a break for what LCX is actually trying to do and for what they are building. It's just something special. Now, right now, I do think that a lot of the price action behind LCX is being, you know, stifled. We've seen this happen even with, uh, we've seen this even happen with like XRP, right? It was being extremely stifled in terms of price action. And talking about this, right? We look here and I tweeted out saying, you know, if LCX is considered a security, I would be concerned about any slash all crypto tokens. This is one of the most regulated and compliant tokens in the space. And of course, I did tag the CEO and founder at Monty um, has outlined this already. I believe these pushed agendas from the SEC are incorrect, hence why I continue to buy. And we actually do see down here um, from Dominic, who is um, he's followed by, you know, Monty. Uh, I don't know what his stance is on this, but he did say, like, if LCX would be, you know, considered a security, this would also apply to most altcoins. From my perspective, LCX is clearly a utility token. And I do completely agree. The reason why I bring this uh, comment up is because he's saying this would also apply to most of alts, right? And honestly, I would say that this would apply to all other altcoins, which is a, a severe issue. Now, I personally, and no, this is not me being biased and this is not me trying to tell you guys like, hey, check it out. Like I also bought LCX. Um, I've been buying LCX over the last few days uh, quite heavily. Going back to the 25th, you know, this was my um, daily buy at that time. Like I, I purchased almost $606 worth of LCX at that time. It was about 10,000 um, LCX and, you know, just a day um, behind that, I also did purchase yet again another 10,000. Um, and I also bought like 25,000 the day that the SEC actually came out and said like LCX is a security. I said like, you know, it looks like the SEC thinks LCX is a security. That could only mean one thing. And like these buys were not to like entice the market or like tell anybody like, hey, go buy LCX. No, it's the, the fact that like I still heavily support LCX. And I think that we are severely, you know, early on what LCX is trying to do. And uh, funny enough, we also see this major announcement from uh, Johnny Deaton actually talking more so about LCX. Uh, we see here, in pursuing the SEC Gov versus um, WHI, I don't know what that is, uh, complaints, I found out why Gary Gensler is upset. And uh, we do see down here, it reads, the LCX website has a photo of its CEO pointing to an advertisement for LCX.com and LCX tokens that stated in part, goodbye Goldman. Goldman Gary can only take so much. And yeah, like this is like the pushed agenda around the SEC. Like they don't want to see, you know, names like Goldman basically be attacked. But like the funny thing is, is that what LCX is trying to accomplish is ultimately like replacing 
these major hedge funds and these major, you know, uh, companies around like the financial district. And it's funny, right? Because, you know, we talk about, you know, where LCX is actually positioned, like their ecosystem and their partner list is absolutely massive. Like you even see like QNT here, Hedera Hashgraph, like the reason why I supported LCX initially on is all of the connections that it did have, but also like all of the, you know, like in terms of like the ecosystem, like look at the massive ecosystem that they already have. They have five products right now. And I know that five products to a lot of people th like doesn't seem like a lot, but with all of these five, you know, you know, major projects that they have built, these are significant projects that all align perfectly with their vision around crypto. Like this is the next generation cryptocurrency exchange. It's fully regulated. They're talking more so about like by 2027, more than $8 trillion will be stored on blockchain networks. I actually argue that this could possibly be a lot more. By the way, this is from the World Economic Forum. Mind you, guess what? LCX is a member of the World Economic Forum and will be at the center for, you know, exchanges and banking leading into the fourth industrial revolution, which, by the way, like I said, this is directly competing with the bankers and the major bank entities, which is also why I do believe that LCX is actually being targeted. Um, and we do see like LCX is not a security and has regulation, you know, clarity as a utility in the European slash Singapore markets. LCX will be a leading exchange slash bank in the coming years. And shout out to Junk Monk uh, 21 here. Um, and of course, we do see down here. And uh, let me actually open this up in a quick new tab real quick, just so that you guys can see it. Uh, we do see down here, like this is on LCX's website, which we just discussed, like LCX Bank, part of the LCX's, you know, long-term vision, aiming to become a blockchain bank with a full bank license, focusing on corporate banking. Like they are going to be leading the race around like crypto banking, which we've actually discussed the idea of like, you know, crypto banks starting to launch and go live, um, which I actually welcome that. I think that that's going to be great, especially if we could be seeing like a day where we do see like decentralized banking as well. I think that cent decentralized banking could actually be a very monumental moment in uh in innovation around crypto and of course we do see down here like their blockchain laws like banking and finance one of the world's best places for finance from its triple a you know rating to its banking expertise tokenization legal clarity for you know security token offerings and tokenization of you know assets uh we also do see down here like security framework regulating custody and storage issuance and management of crypto assets you know market access direct market access to the european you know economic area and switzerland exchange license possible registration and licensing for the token economy trading and also transferring of digital assets and of of course, you know, the holistic approach, the Liechtenstein, you know, blockchain laws go much further than the blockchain legislation of other countries. And, uh, you know, tokenize everything. I've talked to you guys about tokenization. I think that this is such a huge, you know, area to focus on uh, around crypto. And uh, we also do see them like talking about like their, you know, regulatory approvals, including digital asset and uh, crypto custody, reliable price oracles, um, and pretty much everything that you could think about in regards to like utility tokens. And of course, you know, regulations. They are probably one of the most like regulated, you know, assets in this space. And it's funny that they are still being targeted uh, from the SEC. Like this proves to you that like nothing, like nothing around this space, like in terms of like old coins are safe. And uh, I don't know where on their website uh, they do have like the, you know, goodbye Goldman, you know, image. Uh, but we actually, you know, shared a little bit of that on the, I think it was a XRP video actually. Um, which I thought was pretty funny. Like I actually thought it was actually a pretty, uh, a pretty funny, um, you know, comment. It was from Davos. I'm pretty sure as well. Like it was from the Davos, um, meeting where it was like, you know, everyone was trying to market their project. And I think that it was great that they, you know, did say like, you know, goodbye Goldman, because again, like these are centralized entities around the banking scene that are eating up massive fees and getting rich off of everybody else's like, you know, astronomical fees when they go to transact and things like that. So Again, like these are companies that don't want, you know, assets like LCX to succeed. And of course, who do they run to? Well, they run to the SEC. And uh, funny enough, we also do see here from LCX, like this is also something I want to, you know, pay attention to um, during like the bear market. And I think that everybody else should pay attention to this as well. And that is live projects. When you have something that is live and, you know, you actually have something that you could utilize, you could see. That is what matters. And talking more so about like an exchange um, project, we do see all your trading needs can be met in one place, LCX Mobile. Now you can trade on the go, participate in token sale, deposit and withdrawal on the go, manage your profile and you know from anywhere. Again, this is what matters is having you know a live project, having things that you know individuals could interact with, utilize. Like 
having something that's already established during a bear market, which again, like LCX to me, the funny thing is, is that like, if you go over to the cryptocurrencies uh, list, right? And I, I don't mean to go off topic around this, but we go down to like the top 100 list, for example, and the last one, right? The 100th token, which is XDC, has nearly a $362.9 million market cap during a bear market, I mind you. That is nearly a 10x from LCX's current level. And with what LCX is actually focused on, I could easily see this being at number 50, okay? And the number 50, like 50th uh, token right now in this space has currently a market cap of, what is it? $1 billion, okay? Now, mind you, at $1 billion, LCX is worth about like $1.20, nearly around that range. And this is at a bear market price valuation. To me, LCX is easily a top 100 token. They already have a live, you know, product, and you know you could utilize these products even like their de their decentralized exchange, right? Like if you go to the products uh, list over here, like there's a ton of them, like the Token Sale Manager, Leech and Sign Protocol, LCX Mobile, STO Launchpad. You know, all of this stuff plays exactly into what they are focused on around finance, around banking, things like that. Like this is the security token offering. Like this is. Huge. Like a lot of these, you know, projects that they do have live on their website are massive. Like we even do see down here, like stocks, bonds, equities, or investor shares, contractual, you know, rights and commercial contracts, insurance premiums, and many other assets can be tokenized. One of the main benefits of tokenized, you know, securities is that they enable access to assets that have been typically illiquid. And I've actually talked about, you know, um, LCX being like a leader behind, you know, um, a tokenized like stock exchange. I honestly see them becoming that. And they are going to play a pivotal role going forward around finance and banking within crypto. And I also think that that is exactly why it was mainly targeted from the LCX or um, from the um, SEC. And that is also why I do purchase LCX almost on a day-to-day -day basis because I believe in the project long-term. I also think that anything that the SEC, like the SEC is going after, they see as a threat. To me, this is actually very bullish around you know LCX. So... With that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on. If you guys want more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, up that you all have a beautiful day, a beautiful night, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. It's been Nick. Peace out, guys.